Welcome back. We're here at MJ Harrington & Company, right on Main Street in Newport, New Hampshire. And joining me now is the owner of MJ Harrington & Company, David Lance. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Great to, great to be here around this time every year. And thanks for hosting. Uh, let's tell any of our audience members who may not know about your wonderful company a little bit of the history. Well, MJ Harrington & Company Jewelers began in 1948. Mm -hmm. My aunt, Phyllis Lance Harrington, and her husband, Mike Harrington, uh, began. He was a watchmaker. She was a gift buyer for a store in Keene, and they decided they would meld those two skills. And they bought a going business, which actually goes back into the 1800s in our community, wow. but has been in our family now. We'll celebrate 67 years this summer. Mm -hmm. And uh, Uncle Mike, uh, as I mentioned, was a watchmaker. My dad was encouraged by Uncle Mike to become a watchmaker. My Uncle Bob also encouraged to become a watchmaker, but there wasn't enough business in Newport to, s to support all the families. So Uncle Mike and Aunt Phyllis bought the business in town. Dad worked for another store in Keene, as did my Uncle Bob. Mm -hmm. And eventually, in 1970, Dad bought out Aunt Phyllis and Uncle Mike and uh, moved here to Newport from Brattleboro, Vermont. And um, I got involved, well, I grew up in the business, but didn't really get involved until 1976. Mm -hmm. uh, and so this will be my 40th year here coming up wow. next year. So you came in quite as a young man. Well, yeah, I, I, I did a lot of engraving and other sorts of just generic work as a, as a youngster. It never really interested me a whole lot. And I even uh, as I graduated from college, I was quite sure this was not the place for me. <laughs> Most college <laughs> graduates do not want to go into the family business, right? <laughs> and I, so I spent a couple of years and, and uh, eventually dad made me an offer. It was hard to refuse. We were opening a store in New London at the time. And he said, why don't you come back and I'll send you off to school in New York to the Gemological Institute of America and then see what you think. Yeah. And uh, the bug got me. And okay. uh, so I spent some time at the Gemological Institute of America. Then I also later in my career spent four years doing a goldsmithing apprenticeship uh, with a goldsmith from Damascus out in Ithaca, oh, New York. Neat. And that was probably some of the most important uh, training that I had. And it gave us an opportunity to understand the, the manufacturing end of the business well. And that was in 1988 I began that part of my career. So since then, we've done a lot of in-store manufacturing. We do a lot of creative work in-house. We have two full-time goldsmiths, and I serve as sort of their backup. Mm -hmm. My job includes a lot of other things in the course of an average day. Uh, but I really love the bench. And in fact, at Valentine's Day, I spent most of a week at the bench almost every day, all day. Really fun nice. to get back to doing that creative. You component. had some custom work for yes. Valentine's Day. Ooh, that's special. We did. You're Lots so of part fun. of that whole moment. If you've made the piece of jewelry, that's so neat. It really is. It's it, it's it's inspiring at times, and lots of times we'll get some really wonderful ideas and guidance mm -hmm. from the customers. And those are really the most fun projects because they know exactly what they want, and right. we just have to take that concept and turn it into metal and gemstones, and and it's a. Uh, it's a real treat. We are privileged to work in a business where we are that much a part of those special, special right. moments. It's art at one of its finest forms and working with all these beautiful gems and special metals. That's it really is. neat. It yeah. Really is. Well, and I think we, what you've just explained is what makes Harrington's so special. The custom service and the personal service. You've got yourself here, your wife works here. It's a family business. It is, and we are very fortunate to have people who have been with us for over 25 years. Several of our staff have been with us for over 25 years, and it's just a delight to, to know the continuity has existed when you come in and you see the same faces, and you've seen the same faces for a long time, and, and they are part of the family. Absolutely. And that's been a really important part of our our focus over the years. Mm -hmm. Well, you can feel it when you come in. You're greeted warmly at the door. You're not in here for two minutes and someone asks you if you want a cup of coffee or a drink. And uh, the fact that you can create custom items and do repairs and really advise people on jewelry purchases, I think is what sets you apart. Well, thank you. That's we why really 67 years. 67 years. You don't years get to 67 we, years without with having bad customer service. So well, we work hard at it, and we really enjoy it. Very good. Okay. Well, thanks so much for hosting us. We're going to be thank here you. for the next three weeks, and uh, best wishes. Thank you very much, Lynn. Thank you, Dave.